What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old dog and time period of chill here. One name, three personalities. Old dog and time period of chill. So I had somebody reach out to me, and um, and he was upset because he was saying that he moved in with his girlfriend like a year ago, and um, he's like she's been well, not even a year ago. It's been like eight months or something like that. He's like she's been tripping or whatever. He said, but you know. You know, they had discussed it, and when he first moved in, everything was 50-50, you know, even though it was her place, and he moved in with her, um, you know, they were going to share everything, and, you know, share the household, and share the responsibilities, and everything like that, and he said, so, he, he now she's tripping, and he doesn't understand why. Listen, you guys. And he's like, you know, he's the man of the house, and things like that. Look. You you're not the man of the house if you move in t you move in with a female, and she'll never truly view you as the man of the house, quote unquote, if you move in with her. It'll never happen. And the reason why it seems that way at first that like she views you as the man of the house, and she listens to your opinion, things like that, is because. When you first move in with her, everything is lovely. You guys are in like the quote unquote honeymoon phase type of thing of the situation. It's kind of like when you get a new job, everything's good at first. Or, you know, when you get a new car, the car is perfect at first. But then after a while, you start to see the, you know, when the car is not as new anymore, you know, things are not as perfect anymore. Um, it's like that with everything in life, everything you're going to ever deal with in life. So this is the same type of thing. Um Yes, yeah, she told you that you were the man of the house when you first moved in. Yes, yeah, she told you everything was 50-50 when you, when you first moved in. This is why, men, you cannot, you need your own place. And if you are going to live with a woman, you guys need to buy a place together where your name is on it also. Because if you move in with a woman, that will never truly be your house. It won't. No matter how much she acts like that in the beginning, that will never truly be your house. All right. So and you, you won't get any respect. You will never get true respect from her if you move in with her. If you move in with a woman, you move in with your girlfriend or whatever, you'll never get true respect. You're powerless. You have no power. You can't demand no power. You can't command no power. All right. So you got to be really careful um, before you move in with a female. Okay. Got to be real careful. It's like you're a little boy and she's your mother, even though you guys are both grown adults. It's still the dynamic that she's like your mother. You'll see. After the honeymoon phase is over and as time starts to go, you'll see she'll start to boss you around more. She'll start to become more bossy with you. She'll start to make more demands of you. What you say will not hold as much weight as it did when you guys first moved in together. Wait for a few months. Wait for six or eight months. What you say, she's not going to listen to it the way she listened to it when you guys first, when you, when you first moved into her house. Because she doesn't view you as a real man. How are you the man of the house when you have no fucking house? How are you the man of the house when you have no house? The man of what house? The house you don't have. The man of what house? What, <laughs> what house are you the man of? As long as she wants you there and every and she likes you, she'll make you feel like it's your house also. She'll make you feel like everything's 50-50 because she likes you at that particular time. She wants you there at that particular time. This all will occur, will occur when you first move in. But just like I've made, what did I make? I made a um a video about uh how she'll eventually get tired of you. Forgot what the name of that video was. How she'll eventually get tired of you. 
I think it's called Never, Never Put a Woman First. I think that's what it's called. Never Put a Woman First. I'll put it up here in the cards. It'll be right here in the cards right now. Never put a woman first. Listen to that one also. She'll get tired of your ass. Because you'll be up under her. You'll be around too much. So when you move into her house, the same type of thing. You'll be around too much. She'll get tired of you. She'll never view you as a man if you move into her house. Never. It'll never happen. No matter how much she acts like that in the beginning, it'll never happen. She'll make you feel like you're the boss even of the house. She'll make you feel like you're the boss until something serious happens. You'll see when something serious happens, she'll make that decision on her own. When she starts to get tired of you, she'll start to make decisions on her own. And what are you going to say? Because she's like, this, fuck it, this ain't your house. I can make decisions about my house if I want to. She, she's going to think about it like I was making decisions about my house or about my apartment before you moved in without asking you. So why the fuck I got to ask you now? This is still my place. Last year when you weren't living here yet, last year when you weren't around yet, you weren't living here six months ago. And I was making decisions about my own house without asking you. So what says I got to ask you now? This is still my house. Last year when, when you weren't living here yet, I was making all the decisions about my place without asking you. So why you think just because you live here, I got to run and pass you now? This is still my place. I, I, still, I still have a right to make all the decisions in my place. I ain't got to run it by you first. It'll get to that point. You'll see. You'll see. Move in with the female. You'll see. Eventually, it'll get to that point where she'll start to act like that, you guys. You want to be treated like a man, you got to have your own place. You can't walk around acting like you're the man. Even like out in, the, in, in society, in front of your friends and things like that, you can't run around acting like you're the man when you're living with, with the woman, when you're living with your girlfriend, when you're driving her car. That's something that a lot of y'all do. Driving your girl's car. Trying to take it over like it's, like it's yours. She'll never view you as a man. You're driving her car. You're like her little bitch. <laughs> when you're dropping her off at work in the morning and having to pick her up in the afternoon because you need her car because you, you can't afford a car of your own. That's not manly. She'll never view you as you as the, as the man. She'll never give you the respect as a man. All right, y'all. This is just part one. There's more parts to come. Man of the house. How are you the man of the house when you ain't got no house? This is just part one. I'll be up with part two <laughs> sooner or later. You guys take care. It's all good. I'm going to put one of my music videos right here. Old Dog Anton, Period of Chill. You guys have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. I love you guys. All right. You guys take care. All right. Peace. Bye bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs> bye bye.